for all of us that are start here, money might be the greatest thing in the world. For me, it was certainly about two years ago until I actually learned what life is about. When you are younger, you learn that you want to be, you want to be something that your uh, parents are proud of. You want to be a doctor, especially if you're Asian, you want to be a doctor, or you're getting sent to Pakistan. Or you want to be a lawyer because you're making that money, you're keeping your family happy, you're driving a Bentley, you're driving the best cars ever. That's what you're doing. But when I was a little kid, I always had this mindset where I thought, you know what, maybe I want to be a little different. And as you can tell, that's what I'm talking about now. I want to be different, and that's because I believe that everything that's materialistic in this world, such as clothes, cars, everything, they will come with us in the afterlife. If there is one, if there isn't, I'm not too sure. But we need to better ourselves before we look around and try to gain something that makes us look good on the outside. Maybe if you question yourself and talk, maybe, do this car that I'm driving, uh, let's say £100,000, let's say a uh, Lamborghini, I don't think you get that cheap, don't get too up there. <laughs> but uh, I'm driving this 100 grand Lamborghini, but really does it reflect me? Am I the same on the inside as I am on the outside? When I was a little kid, I grew up, and at the age of 13, it's like I fell on my head and I remembered something, that maybe on the inside I'm not as good as I am, that on the outside, it's because I was walking around wearing expensive clothes, expensive shoes, and looking at everything I wanted. And maybe some of you have done that, and maybe you haven't come to a realization yet. But the thing is that no matter how uh, big you are, no matter how much money you have, no matter how many girls you pull, but you'll always be the same person. You will always be the same person, no matter what, unless you change yourself on the inside. It's like Mahatma Gandhi, he never had a lot of possessions, but on the inside he had so much, uh, so much love and so much compassion about what he was talking about, equality among everyone, that it shone through. No one looked at what clothes he was wearing, no one looked at the shoes he was wearing. Actually, he didn't wear any shoes. He was walking barefoot. And that, I think that's some, that speaks like volumes to everyone here. You're all sat here listening to presentations about the mental illnesses and whatever else there is. But I think the biggest illness in this world is chasing money when really we should be bearing ourselves on the inside.